Hey guys, how are you today? Um, I'm doing pretty good. This is my first day back at school, Monday 6th. Uh, yeah, I live in the UK and yes, yeah, so we go back at that time rather than whenever some other people went back. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I went up to year 8. Um, yeah, so I got this really cool lightsaber a couple of months ago. Um, and it's amazing. And so I just decided to do a review on this. And yeah, so so this was one hundred about one hundred and twenty pounds on Amazon. Um, comes with the hilt, a blade. It's just a long plastic tube. No, nothing inside. Side here is literally just a torch, so it's not LEDs, it's not NeoPixel, nothing special. Um, also came with an Allen wrench and four tension screws. Let's see if they can see those. Um, yes, so this is a pretty accurate design of the Return the, of Luke's Return of the Jedi lightsaber. It's a bit bigger um, than in the movie, but it's really cool. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this lightsaber. So, just the lightsaber hilt is 0 0.8 pounds. I uh, don't know how, many, how much that is in grams. And then with the blade, just plop it in there. It is 0 0.9 pounds. So it's pretty light. And it also comes with a charger. I recommend charging before using it when it arrives. Because it, charge, it charges for about 4 hours with about 4 hours of playtime. And you can tell when it's fully charged, when, when it's charging, this button will slowly, like, pulse. And it will go on and off like it's pulsing. And when it stops pulsing, it's just solid light up. That means it's charged. Um, so, yeah, it has about four hours of playtime. I love this grip near the top here. It's a really good grip to hold on, like when you're swinging it. And yep, so quite a few pieces come off here. The pummel here is the speaker, so you can you can unscrew that. There's the speaker there, and then take that out. There's some wires. Put that back. You can screw it back on. This emitter piece comes off. I, th I think it looks really cool. It looks like the looks like Luke Return of the Jedi. Um, this is actually the same emitter as from the Peace and Justice emitters that you can get at Sabi's workshop. You can go go to Disneyland, Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I'm actually going to Galaxy's Edge next year. Uh, 10 days after my birthday, so I will be doing some videos on that. So subscribe so you don't miss those videos. They're going to be awesome. Going to go to Savvy's workshop, do some legacy lightsaber reviews. Going to have such a great time. Yeah, so that comes off. So does this bit. So this thin neck piece. Can unscrew that. It's then just some wires, and in there is where it leads to the light there. And you might, I don't think you can see down there, but you can see Star Wars circuit boards. So if we screw this back on, and then get this piece back, screw this back on. And then there's, you charge it by putting the charger into there. Hold above it. So now if so this entire silver piece 
unscrews here. There you go, separated there. Now at the right angle, there you go, one the circuit board. Then down there, there is some more, and eventually it leads down to the speaker part, which is about here. Um, so if I can, there you go. I wouldn't recommend unscrewing that bit in case you might damage it. So, but it is easily fixable with just some adjustments. So that's happened to me twice, and just unscrewing it and moving the circuit board and the wires is able to help me fix it. Oh, that is squeaky. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this one button activates all the features. Press it once to turn it on. Um, and then, so, you'll see blink. As you hold it down, you press it when you can see blinks in the saber light. Not in the button, but unlike art sabers. It's in the actual blade. So this torch here lights up with the blinks. Um, yeah, so it's quite bright. Um, yes, it's. So now let's check out the blade and the audio. So with the blade, just a long, I believe about 31, 32 inch blade. Just slot it on in. Grab your Allen wrench and your retention screws, whatever they're called. I really don't know what they're called. I recommend putting screw onto the key like that. And then what you do is there's certain holes here that, oh no. Um, I just, oh no. It's got, oh no. Great. And you've got a pretty fluffy rug. So it's. That's my rug. Pretty hard for me to find it in that. So I'll be back to you guys when I have found it. I finally. I got it. I got it. I got it. I finally got it. Finally, that took forever. Okay, so. Now let. So I thought I lost it again. So let's try that again. So you can put in as many as you want. I put in all four, but you can only put in two if you want. The tighter you do, and the more you do it, you will eventually like damage the blade. But that's fine. It doesn't affect anything. So you put that onto there, get the hole, and then you just screw it in as tight as you can go. Got fluff on me from the rug. There you go. And then do the same with the rest. All right, we finally have all the screws on in. Wiggle test, it's perfect. Not wiggling at all. So now just need to turn off the lights and I'll show you this thing in the dark. Alright, so now I've um, got the lights out. Let's turn it on. It's on the Obi-Wan Kenobi sound font. That's really bright. You also see the buttons lighting up there. It's on the lowest sound, so you can change the volume, there's low, medium and high, this is currently on low. The sensitivity is pretty good, it's not on point though, and it's not smooth swing, so it's like not like an actual saber, but it's pretty good sensitivity. This is absolutely sick, and it's 
what it looks like up close. Well, it's a sharp edge. And I absolutely love this. So, so do you activate blast to deflect? You just press the button. You see, just press it, and it activates blast to deflect. That's like your bl deflecting blasters. Sick. And then you hold the button down for one blink in the saber light, and then you let go and press it, and then that activates the lock up. So there's. Hurts my eyes. And then just press the button again to deactivate. Stop the lock up. So again, so you just hold down the button, one blink, let go and press, and then press again to stop it. To change the colour, you hold down for two blinks, let go and hold, and then you let go in the colour that you want. So there's one, two, let go and hold. So there's pink, green, light green, white, purple, like a peach, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, and then back to blue. So there's quite a few different colours. Change the volume, it's the same thing, but three blinks. Let go and hold, then it's the volume that you want. And then it's four blinks to turn it off. One, two, three, four. So that's also pretty cool. So it comes with five sound fonts. First one is Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is that one. There's Darth Vader sound font. Luke Skywalker. Ky well, I believe it's Kylo Ren. It doesn't really sound like Kylo Ren, but pretty sure it's Kylo Ren. Then the last one, I don't really know what it is. If you guys know what it is, leave a comment down below. So it doesn't actually say who the sound font, it says numbers. So number one is Obi-Wan Kenobi, number two is Darth Vader, number three is Luke Skywalker, number four is supposedly Kylo Ren, and number five is an unknown one. Um, so let's activate the number five one now. So you hold, so you can also actually mute the saber. You hold it down for two blinks while it's off. And then it doesn't make any sound from the speaker. That means that it's muted. So that means when you activate it, it's just light. Still got all the cool effects and stuff, like the blaster deflect, the colour changing, the lock up. Still got all that, but it's just muted. So there's no colour very cool if you want to like play play with it when but your friends are asleep so yeah and then so and then you hold it down for two blinks again when it's off when you hear that it means that you've unmuted it then change sound font you just wait for one blink one two. blink one blink and then let go to so number two that's Darth Vader Three. Three. Like Skywalker. Four. Kylo Ren. Five. And then the mystery one. So if you guys know who this, whose lightsaber this is, leave a comment down below. A secret blade effect. Oh, and of course, you can also clash it. You have to, it's quite some force to activate the clash. Then there's also a secret blade effect. So, as you can see right now, it's just solid blue, nothing special to it. But if I click, but if I click the button once, this activates the blaster deflect. The lightsaber is now also pulsing. 
So when it's charging, it'll go like this, but slowly. And then when it's like that, then it's charged. Mm. It's basically mm. what I mean from earlier. Yeah. Mm. Yes, so mm. I love the saber. Mm. Personally, to me, I feel like the one that looks the coolest on camera is a red saber. I'll show you because it looks like the clone a Clone Wars lightsaber, like literally something straight out of the Clone Wars. So, so you can see it's like Sith glowing from like just outside the blade. Mm. For like in the Clone Wars, you can see that much clearly. And I just mm. really, I just think this looks the coolest mm. in the dark. Well, but in the dark, I feel like, I mean on camera. But in the dark, I feel mm. like white because it glows the entire room. It gets from lights out, activate the white one, bang. Mm. Someone turned on the mm. lights when they didn't. Mm. It's just the lightsaber. Mm. But yeah, so that's basically my full review of this lightsaber. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. If we get five likes on this video, I will go through all the sound fonts on this lightsaber. And yeah, hope you all enjoy your day and have an awesome Star Wars day!